This headline from the 19, 1970 says it all. Four bombs at Murtaugh Home, notorious uh, terror group, the Weather Underground, claiming responsibility for an attack on the family of a New York state Supreme Court justice. The bombing was led by radical Bill Ayers, the same guy screen right, uh, who eventually formed a relationship of some sort with Democrat presidential nominee Barack Obama. Yonker City, uh, Yonker City Councilman John Murtaugh was just nine years old when the blast went off inside his house. John, this is a personal story for you. Uh, clearly it is. I was nine years old at the time. My father was uh, the judge presiding on what's called the Panther 21 trial. Uh, members of the Panther Party who were charged with attempting to bomb landmarks in New York. On a February night, 1970, while my parents, my brother, sister, and I were asleep in our house, uh, the Weather Underground uh, launched an attack on our family home, set off uh, at least three, possibly four bombs, one of them under the gas tank of the family car. Car bomb. Looking to kill us. So uh, when, when I read one of the things you wrote uh, earlier in the spring, the headline was that Bill Ayers tried to kill my family. Well, Bill Ayers, the founder of the Weather Underground, uh, Kathy Wilkerson, who uh, is a former member of the Weather Underground, still lives here in New York. Uh, she wrote a memoir two years ago in which she acknowledged that it was the New York cell of the Weather Underground uh, that launched the attack on my family. Mm -hmm. uh, three weeks later, at Bill Ayers' direction, they were assembling bombs in Greenwich Village right. in order to attack uh, the officers called at Fort Dix, New Jersey, and they blew themselves up. Right. They were uh, building a nail bomb exactly. at the time. So what do you think when you hear about this uh, Bill Ayers back in the news and his link? or uh, lack thereof with uh, Barack Obama? Well, you know, Barack Obama constantly says, I was only eight years old when this happened. Uh, that's kind of his, his throwaway mm -hmm. line. Um, I'm not questioning what Barack Obama was doing when he was eight years old. I'm questioning his behavior as an adult to choose his friend, mentor, uh, and longtime personal and professional colleague, uh, a gentleman who engaged in acts of terror against families, against government buildings, and whose organization uh, cost the lives of at least three, if not more, police officers. Now, we've had the Obama camp on a number of times, and they dispute, you know, the relationship and everything else. Uh, they say it goes back to when they simply served on boards, and they only met at a couple of board meetings and stuff like that, plus that uh, get-together at that guy's, uh, at Bill Ayer's house. But why is it you think, because this is something I have not heard until this morning, why is it you think the relationship between Bill Ayers and Barack Obama goes back 20 years. Bill Ayers' wife, Bernadine Dorn, also one of the original leaders of the Weather Underground, uh, and the woman who took credit for the bombing at our home and in other New York targets, Bernadine Dorn uh, was a, uh, an attorney by training. She couldn't get admitted to bar because of her crimes. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Ayers' uh, family got her a job at a large Chicago law firm, Sidley and Austin, in the 1980s. She was a contemporary at that law firm in the 80s with Michelle Obama. Uh, it was the firm so where a year later... each other around the water cooler? Sure, and a year later it's where Michelle and Barack Obama met. So mm -hmm. uh, I believe if the senator were to come clean and tell us the full story, uh, we'd find out this relationship well predates the fundraiser held in the heirs' home. It I goes have, back to the 80s. I've I never heard that connection before. Uh, I, wow. I just can't believe that a university would hire this guy with this type of background. Uh, you'd have to ask the University of Illinois to explain that. Let, let me ask you one other question. You know, uh, the Obama camp uh, called me up and said, look, they lived in the same neighborhood, but uh, Barack Obama did not know Bill Ayers' history at the time of that uh, meet and greet where he launched his career in his living room. You know, Barack Obama was a student at Columbia in the uh, early 1980s. Um, he lived in New York at Columbia at the time that a splinter group of the Weather Underground murdered two police officers uh, as part of a failed bank heist. Um, frankly, for Barack Obama to attend Columbia shortly after these events, to be in New York at that time and not know who the Weather Underground was, that frankly makes him the dumbest man that ever graduated from Columbia and Harvard Law School. Which we know he's not. Absolutely not. All right, uh, John Murtaugh, who is a, now a Yonkers City Councilman, who is traveled at home, bombed by Bill Ayers and the Weather Underground. We thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. All right. All right, 27 minutes.